Are you in agreement with God? Let's look at Matthew eighteen nineteen. It says, and I tell you, if two of you on earth harmonize together or make symphony together or, or, or agree together about whatever, anything and everything that they may ask, it will come to pass and be done for them by the Father, by my Father in heaven. It's Jesus speaking. Let's look at that last one. It says, not only does God have a plan for your life, but the devil has a plan for you also and me. Satan wants you to agree with him because the Bible says when people come into agreement, power increases. So when the devil tries to tell you that you don't have any future and you've made too many mistakes, you need to say, God is the God of a second chance. And I not only have a future, but I've got a good future. I not only have a future, but I've got a good future. Get an attitude. God is going to do great things in my life. If the devil can get you to agree with him, you will have what he wants you to have. But if you stay in agreement with God, then you will have what God wants you to have. Who are you in agreement with today? Who are you in agreement with today? I'm in agreement with God. I'm in agreement with the Word of God. I'm in agreement with the Word of God. I don't care if people say, well, who wrote it? Who that? Look, I'm in agreement with the Word of God, with the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, I am. And I pray that you stand in agreement with me as well. That whatever God says, that's what I agree with. That's what he's going to bring to pass. So what do you say? What are you going to say? You're going to say, God is a God of a second chance. What? And I have a future. And not only do I have a future, but I got a good future. God is going to do great things in my life. This is the Encourager Queen. See you no longer about. See you right here next time. <laughs>